Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tasha. So as I was filming this, the sun kept coming in and out of my window, so the lighting kept changing and I tried to fix it while editing, but you can still kind of tell, so I'm sorry if that is annoying. So today's video, I've kind of seen it go around YouTube a little bit, or at least I've seen a good amount of people doing it. And basically the premise of the video is to share things that I either regret buying or am trying not to buy anymore or don't buy anymore, just to kind of give you guys, I guess, advice on what not to buy and just kind of share my experiences with that. I will say that I think I am pretty good with my money. I know some people will probably think otherwise, but I do feel that for the most part, I spend my money wisely, but I was able to put together a list of 10 things and I'm going to go through that list with you now. Okay, the very first thing that came to mind was paying to get my nails done every like two to three weeks. The best decision I ever made was purchasing a dip powder nail kit on Amazon. That is what is on my nails right now and I've been doing my own nails for months now. I will link the kit down below. I'll link a bunch of different color options but basically the kit costs less than getting one manicure at the salon. And it definitely does take some time getting used to it. I get questions all the time about how I do it, but basically it's just practice. I will say that it doesn't last quite as long as it does when I get it done at the salon. It can last up to about two weeks depending on how well I do it. Sometimes it lasts longer than other times. So it definitely is not as perfect and long lasting as when I get it done at the salon, but I have saved so much money just by doing it myself. I still think it is the best decision I've made, so I definitely recommend doing that. Okay, the next thing that I regret buying is this white Gucci bag, and I don't totally, totally regret it, but I regret it mainly for the color choice. I love this bag and I really haven't seen it on a lot of people. I got this when I was in Italy for the first time and I do think it's a really great piece to remember Italy and I have it hanging on this mirror in my apartment so it is always displayed but I just don't find myself wearing it a lot because it is such a light color and I'm always nervous that I'm going to stain it or spill something on it or get it dirty. So I think my advice for designer bags is to not get them in light colors that you're nervous about getting a dirty if you are someone who would be nervous to use it <laughs> for that reason. Because yeah, I've only worn this bag a handful of times. Just the next item that I regret buying is another Gucci item and this is the infamous Gucci belt. <laughs> I never wear this. I wore it a few times when I first got it. But now I just never really see myself wearing it and it's not because I don't like the belt. I just don't really wear belts a lot in general. However, I do like that I got the thin one and I'm definitely going to keep it. I'm not going to sell it because I think this is something that will be really, really cool to have in like 10 or 20 years. But I definitely should have taken into account that I don't really wear a lot of belts to begin with before buying such an expensive belt. Okay, so the next thing that I regret purchasing is expensive clothing items that are not basics. You guys might be like, Tasha, you wear expensive clothing items that are not basics all the time. <laughs> and because of my YouTube channel and my Instagram, I am so, so lucky that a lot of brands gift me clothing. So I'm not talking about when I'm getting things gifted to me because obviously I'm very thankful for that, but I'm not spending money on that. So I'm pretty much talking about things that I purchased with my own money and was not gifted that are either trendy or just not something that I can wear a lot and I do have an example here to show you. For example, this dress is from Reformation so it was quite pricey and I still love this dress. It's not that I don't like it but I've only worn this dress once and it's this snake print little low cut mini dress. This just does not get the wear that it should for the price. And I definitely do have a good amount of pricier printed items that I bought that I just don't wear a lot, so that's something that I regret and I'm trying not to do in the future. 
The next thing I regret purchasing are expensive lattes from coffee shops every day. I still drink a latte every day, but that's because I recently got my Nespresso machine and I wish I got it a long time ago because the amount of money I have saved using that Nespresso machine, especially during quarantine, is insane. My freshman year of college, I used to get a latte from the campus coffee shop every single day and those cost close to six dollars and even though they were very good it's just a little bit excessive i definitely still go to coffee shops and buy expensive lattes here and there but for the most part i do make them myself and even though nespresso pods are still a little bit pricey it's a lot cheaper than going and paying six plus dollars at an la coffee shop I will link the Nespresso that I use down below. It comes with a milk frother, so that is amazing. And I will also link the Nespresso pods that I use because I really like how I make my lattes. I actually have one over there. I'm gonna go grab it. Here she is. It's a little bit watered down. Even though the machine is not cheap, it will definitely save you money in the long run. And it's also just fun to be able to make your own drinks. So yes, I definitely recommend that. And I definitely will not be buying $6 lattes every day anymore. <laughs> Okay, the next thing is something that I still do, but I have an explanation for it. So it is ordering a ton of food delivery like Postmates and DoorDash and Uber Eats. And yes, I still do that, but I try to only do it once in a while or if I have referral credits. So I do share my codes to these food delivery apps. I'll put them in the description below. But basically when people use my codes, they get money off and then I get money towards my deliveries. Lately, when I have been ordering this food delivery, it's with credit that I've gotten from referrals, so I'm not spending a ton of money on it, but I'm thinking of the times in college where I'd be drunk after a party and order food that I really did not need and then I wouldn't even finish it and the delivery was so expensive. <laughs> so I do regret ordering food when I don't need it or I have plenty of food at home when I'm not using those credits. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, the next thing is something that is still close to my heart and it's going to be a little more difficult for me, but it is buying expensive bikinis that once again are trendier or printed or just something that I'm not going to be able to wear and use all the time. If you guys know me, you know I love bikinis and I really like expensive bikinis. And most of the expensive bikinis that I have, once again, were either gifted, which I am very grateful for, or I bought them on a sale or with a gift card or something like that. But I just wanna show you guys an example. So this is one of my favorite styles of bathing suits from Frankie's Bikinis, but it's just not the most wearable because I can't tan in this. So as you can see, the whole middle section is this crocheted mesh. So that is just a horrible tan line waiting to happen and the whole side is lace up so once again horrible tan lines so this is not the ideal bathing suit to wear when you're going to be laying out all day and actually getting a tan i did get this one on sale or it was maybe on poshmark or something so i didn't pay full price for it but still i have so many bathing suits i really do not need any more trendy expensive ones so that is something i am not buying anymore even though i'm tempted because frankie's comes out with the cutest ones all the time. The next thing I regret buying is my senior year prom dress. I hear people spending like over $500 on their prom dress, which if that's what you want to do and you're set on that, then you do you. But personally, I was never a huge fan of school dances anyways, and I kind of just went because I felt like I should go. I think my senior year prom dress was around $300, but I never wore that dress again, and honestly, I didn't have a great time at that prom. I had been dating my high school boyfriend and we broke up like right before prom. And I think it rained the day of my prom. So I just was not looking good. And basically I regret spending that money because it's not something I will ever wear again. My junior year prom though, I did borrow a dress from someone and I didn't spend anything. I think I gave her a gift card as a thank you, but that is something that I would definitely try to do if you can. And that is a great way to save money on something that you probably will never wear again. And it's always hard to resell prom dresses because the styles go in and out so quickly and everyone has such different sizes and people like alter their prom dresses. But yeah, if you guys can borrow a prom dress or thrift a prom dress or just get one for an affordable price, I think that will be the move because I definitely regret mine and looking back, I think it's pretty ugly. <laughs>
Speaking of thrifted items, the next thing that I regret purchasing are thrifted items that are kind of cute. Whenever I thrift, if I see something that is somewhat decent or I feel like maybe it could be cute, I buy it because I feel like sometimes it's rare to find cute things at thrift stores and things are so affordable, but then I just end up having all of these thrifted pieces that I don't wear and it's just wasteful and someone else could find them at the thrift store that would probably love them. So I've been working on not doing this and obviously because we are in quarantine, thrift stores are not open, but when I thrift in the future, I will definitely not be purchasing items that I'm iffy on unless I plan on thrift flipping them because I do have a sewing machine now. So once thrift stores reopen, I definitely want to start making thrift flip videos, but yeah, I will not be purchasing items that I'm just kind of so-so on unless I think they could be really great with a flip. Okay, and the very last thing I regret purchasing is the dating app Raya. If you guys don't know what Raya is, it's basically coined as the celebrity dating app, which it's not, I mean, there are some celebrities on it, but most of the people are just some athletes and then people who got on because their friend is on. And I keep forgetting to cancel this subscription. It is a paid app. I think it's like $30 for six months or something. And that's what I have. And I keep forgetting to cancel the subscription. And I'm telling you guys, yes, it's cool to be on there and like see the people on there, but I barely get any matches. And I think I've been on like two dates from this app and they've both been pretty bad. So yeah, I just think that paying for dating apps in general is something that I will not do in the future. So yes, I do regret purchasing Raya and I have people ask me if it's worth it or I'll have people ask me to refer them all the time. And honestly, I don't think it's worth it, especially because it shows you people from all over the world. So I can like match with someone, sure, in the UK, but it's like I'm never going to see them. So yeah, it's just kind of stupid. And if you guys don't know what Raya is and this is your first time hearing about it, just disregard this. I wouldn't get it. <laughs> so those were the 10 things that I regret purchasing and I'm going to try not to purchase in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any purchases you regret, definitely leave them in the comment section. And if you guys want to see a video of purchases that I do not regret, <laughs> let me know because I can totally do that as well. As always, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, it's just at Tasha if you want to go follow me and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!